Alrighty then, today we are going over a game here on the real board where white does not play first with Tengen. Now you may take note that in the in the upper left and the upper right corners respectively, you'll see that there are no names. That is because you find folks and there are four people who can cheat, or is it five? I think there are five people who can cheat. No cheating. There are currently five people who can cheat who will not be saying anything, and I do mean anything, about who we are going over or when this is played. What you have to figure out, dear viewer, is is this game an amateur game? Is it a modern game? Is it an old game? Is it a pro game? Is it a bleep bloop game? So many choices. So many choices. What do you think? Will you get it right? Will you get it right? We'll have to wait and see. All right, so in this particular game, we have black opening up with a 4-4 four, four point. Now that... Thank you for the eight-month resub there, Pickard. Hello, future self watching YouTube. <laughs> uh, upper left, 4-4 four, four point. So, you know, what game we're going over, it can't be that old, right? We've eliminated a string of Chinese games from back in the day. And we've even eliminated a string of Japanese games from back in the day because they're not like 3-4 oriented or more. So we've, we've got eliminated. We eliminated a few, eliminated a few. What is white going to do? White takes in a diagonal 4-4 four, four point. Now we've got some suspects here. Now we've got some suspects, usually a professional. We'll open up in the upper left-hand uh, corner, inviting anything and everything. So that's, that's a thing, that's a thing. Black throws down a 4-4 four, four point, rather than 3-4 facing, eliminating Chinese variations and eliminating uh, Kobayashi variations. AI game could very well be an AI game at that point. Because, yeah. Could be, could be. Don't know yet, don't know yet. White, whoever they may be, takes a 3-4 stone. Still uncertain who and when this game was played. Black approaches high on the fourth line. Not really surprising here. We've got fourth line stone, fourth line stone. Usually this says we're going to be playing for influence in this particular game. So it makes sense to approach uh, high as well because we might be able to grow. I will note that 3-4 approaches are also okay because 4-4 four, four stones, although they are on the fourth line, they're, they're kind of flexible in that regard, right? Because just because you have a 4-4 stone doesn't mean you can't play a territorial game for... Uh, well, territory, obviously. So that that's completely a, a possibility, too. Especially nowadays. You'll see this a lot. Could be one of my games as well. Wide attaches for some territory. Black plays Hane. White gonna draw back just for regular Jiseki. What is Black going to do? Black could play here for a Fuseki. Could play here for much the same thing. Chooses to connect solidly and apparently not play very fast. Interesting. Finishing Jaseki. Now this is interesting. This is not the Jaseki. Usually it's over here or sometimes even over in here. This is usually only seen when we tiger mouth. 
So that into this. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe our first hint as to what kind of game we're looking at today. Let's see. White could play here and put pressure. Could enclose. Could 3-3. Three, three. Could probably pincer or uh, attack. That seems very, very aggressive. Instead, plays over here. Black backs off high. Interesting. We all know by now that I hate doing that because I hate seeing this kind of thing later on. But all right. Black doesn't seem to care. Backs off high. Cool, cool, cool. Goes into corner. Now we could play here. We're not, but we could. If we do play here, we expect our opponent to play Jaseki. And then we expect to give away Sente as, as black because we don't, again, want to see a move like this because it's undercut, right? And we don't want to play a move defending it because it's kind of small. So usually we would expect if we get into a situation like this, we have to play another move to make it harder for that to actually come in. So we do not block the 3-3. Three, three. And I guess we're going to approach. Any ideas so far what we're seeing? Not the 80s, because black would dual would not duel 4-4 four, four in the 80s. Interesting. So what are we guessing, Takamiya? Is that what we're guessing? Is that what I'm hearing? Ah, no, not Takamiya. Okay, okay, okay. Then we're uncertain still. Not Takamiya, because no San Rinse. Okay, okay, okay. That now gives me an idea for uh, future real boards. Thank you for that. Black, or er, white backs off. Pincers throwing white into the corner. Like so. Then from here, we have a simple Jaseki. Simple, simple, simple. Going up and over. Um, yeah. Pro game, though? Okay. Okay, so there's a pro game. They uh, they have agreed. They have agreed that this game is a pro game. Okay. White defends because this hurts. And black gets a Li Chang Ho. Really? Interesting. Peak style Li Chang Ho. Sorry, so I'll guess in the chat. Uh, black gets a lot of influence. Interesting, interesting, interesting. White now has Sente. And white now would ideally have to figure out how we're going to reduce the wall that we see here, right? Because we have quite a bit of, quite a few stones here. We probably don't want to see black get something like this, right? Because this starts to be used very, very quickly. But the question is, what do we do? Do we just start harassing this and trying to make this live? Not really, because chasing along here is probably just going to seal off this area of territory for your opponent. 
So it's tough. You could throw a stone back in there. Because white can, in fact, live this way. And white can live this way. Getting two space extensions on either side. But instead... White attacks. Looks like white's a bit of an aggressive player. White's a bit aggressive. He's not into the whole reducing you thing. As for chumps, we're just going to try to kill you. That's where all the stuff. That's where all the stuff is. Oh, yeah. So, we must decide how we're going to respond to being attacked. How do we respond, chat? Need a move. How do we respond to white's attack? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Oh, what do we do? We have options. Lots of options. Black could just build and dare white to keep up. Oh, so play away and play something over here? Is that what you're referring to? Hmm, interesting. F11 or E11 are very, very different. Uh, oh, sorry. You said F5 or E11. What is F5? F5 is higher or... Okay. Okay. Um, Lavoot? Here's the thing. That answer sucks. I mean that in the nicest way possible. But saying you can jump out on either side, that is, yes, but you have to decide which, because that's very, very different, right? You could say that you can jump out on either side, but a lot of the times, one of those is the right answer, and the other one's going to kill you. Because, like, one stone's weaker than the other, so you have to make a decision. If you had to jump out on one side, what would it be? What would it be there, Lavut? Lavut. It is different strategy. Um, I would say that, like, say you like jumped out over here. You could get a response over here, and then, um, then maybe get attacked. So that gives away the answer right there. I feel that this is not the right answer because these three stones are actually stronger than this one. Since we've got shoulder hits, caps, leans, we don't want this stone under attack, right? We don't, we don't want that. Don't want, 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 don't want. Therefore, that is the stone we're going to jump out from. You could argue the three stones are heavier. Mm. You could argue they're heavier, but they're not in more danger. Because this isn't going to kill you. This isn't going to kill you. This is really not going to kill you. Whereas the leans against this stone seem stronger. White has more that he can do over here than over here. Right? Quite hard to use it? Nyet. White blocks. Black says no connecting. So it's time to put the pressure on stones. We're trying to get two groups running at once. So white appears to be a very aggressive player. Black comes out now, because this group is out, and this group is the one that's in trouble now. Whereas before, if you wanted to look at it that way, this is like a sector line kind of dealio, right? 
and this one clearly isn't. So I could have looked at it that way too. So alright. Now we're jumping. I messed up this with my sleeve. One moment. Pew pew. Pew pew. There we go. Cool. Alright, so white jumped. Time for black to jump. And now white's gonna jump again. What's the next move, chat? You all get it right or you're demoted to 30Q. What's the next move? Get it right or be 30Q. Okay. Jump where? That's too much risk involved. But we have SJC. SJC makes a guess. No, we didn't. Sorry, I misread. We had Lighthawk making a guess and Levoot making a guess. All right, L9 and G4. What's L9 and G4? G4 is up top. L9 is a cap. What? Lighthawk wants to cap? Lighthawk, you want to do this? You want to do this? This is a move that just spat on your opponent. Or you just got up calmly from the table, went up, you throw us a little parched, got a drink of water, came back, threw the water in your opponent's face. That's, that's pretty much what this does, in a nutshell. Because you have to figure that this group right here can't make shape, right? So not only can it not make shape, it's about to get its butt surrounded. So you just dared him to kill you. And you know what? I don't think anyone's going to be surprised if it happens. Be like, yeah, he's dead. Now you might say, it's okay. I'm getting ninth and eighth line territory. Except fourth line is for influence. Third line's for territory. And above that, you're kind of wishful thinking. So we can just throw a stone back there and still live, right? So that is way no bueno. Let's see who got it. Who got who got it actually right? Because Lighthawk is clearly crazy. Okay, well, essentially, you're saying do the top one. I got it. Yeah, you're right. We jump from here. You're right. You're absolutely right. Right? So, yeah. We play here. We jump out. If we cap, we're driving our opponent right to surround the group that's in a lot of trouble right now. And that's a no-no. So we jump out again. As white. And we jump out again as black. And we jump out again as white. And now, Lighthawk, what's the move? Hmm. Well, not sure if Lighthawk's there right now. But now is when you can cap. Because now you're not in danger of being surrounded, and neither is this. Right? So now is when we can go back and cap. Because we're made both of our groups uh, mostly safe right now. Okay? So that's when you can do that. Now, our opponent has the guts to try to make this point. What a jerk. 
clearly White is going to put a stop to that because he's a fighter. White is a fighter. White is a fighter and he's not going to allow any namby-pamby building up kind of dealios going on here. Don't know what kind of game Black's trying to build. Don't know what game Black's trying to play, but we ain't going to allow this kind of thing. Ideas for Black's response. Attack the medal. Can you find a move that would attack the middle and this at the same time? Can we do two things at once? What do you think? Can we attack this stone and the middle at the same time? The Mighty Pickard says cap it. Yeah, that's pretty simple. Look how simple Black's moves are. Oh, they're so cute. But it's okay because we know, especially nowadays, that we can just attach to that 4-4 four, four stone and settle, huh? Huh? It's cool. No problemo, man. We can just settle up in here. It's going to be iry. Cross cut for the odd G's. We draw back the important move, which is the one that's keeping everything separated. Threaten the Atari to live. Black extends and makes shape. Black extends and makes shape. And now, uh, you know. Looks like we're alive. Why is black on the defensive? The defensive 8DX man? Are you sure it's defensive? With one move, black was attacking two things at once. That seems kind of aggressive, no? Responding to greedy aggression with nice and solid aggression. Right? Are you sure this is defensive play? Gonna go ahead and turn here, threatening the Atriari. Threaten to kill the stones. No killing stones for you, good good sir except for it's not that one it's this one there we go makes more sense and then white says blam third line territory fourth line influence wishful thinking stupid look how stupid black is can you believe how stupid black is i can't believe how stupid black is can you didn't even know Proverbs. Wishful thinking move. Can't do anything there. What a maroon. Yet the whole time I'm clutching pearls for light. Interesting. Interesting. R9 is scary brave. What do you think the next move should be for black? What do you think the next move for black should be? While I... poke at stones that are almost perfectly aligned and make them a little bit more aligned. Um, okay, you say start poking. R-A-G-3? Feels like an amateur game? R8, G3, what's R8? R8 is... Oh, you want to poke? Okay, so you're, you're poking here. Got it, all right. G3, ooh, yeah, get that. Get that top growing in. Mm, look at that. 
One, two, three, four, five lines of territory. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty points. Ooh, that looks good. Pick up another ten like in here. That's forty points. And then, yeah, it should be enough, right? Okay, okay, okay. Um, P10. What is P10? P10 is another one of those over there moves. Okay, how about this one? This one is a little bit tough to see, don't you think? That one a bit tough to see? Just a little bit? Be honest. It's a little tough, right? Because while some of y'all want to play here, here's a question. Here's a question. What does this do? What does this do? I think you're starting to see what this does. This is a problem. That attachment could feasibly isolate those three stones. Right? Those three stone, those this this wall of white is just itching for the opportunity to counterattack. Doesn't look fun now, uh uh. Nah, nah, it really doesn't, does it? So. Black jumps. The embodiment of simplicity. Hane on top, not under. You could Hane on top, not under, and then give away all this territory. That's something that you could certainly do. And then all of your territory is coming from here, and that's 30 points. That's a problem. Much harder now. Much harder now. But try to cut that off. White caps. Black counter caps. White threatens to invade. Goes after solid points. Not getting too close to the uh, cornerstones. Getting kind of scary with the four stones again. Take H3 off the board. Wait, what's H3? Take what off the board? Uh. Oh, Chaz behind. Got it. Okay. Um, old method. Got it. 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 Why? Why is casual? Why is casual? It's true. They're both kind of. They're both kind of chilling. Poke, poke, poke. Connect. Connect. Oh, so calm. Getting some extra eye shape. Getting some extra territory. <laughs> you sure it's starting? Looks pretty cut. Looks pretty relaxed to me, man. Connect. Perk, perk, perk. Connect. Now we actually have points here. Cool, cool, cool. Looking for solid life. Getting a bit denied.
And then normally I would have White's name in the upper the upper right, but that'll just have to do. Looking once again for some shape. Got ourselves a table. Now we're starting to get rude and start poking things out. Okay. You don't know yet. There have been a lot of suggestions. First, someone said, this is a Takamiya game. And it's like, no, it's not a Takamiya game because no Sanrin's say. Then they're like, it's an amateur game. It's a Lee Cheng Ho game. It's eh, they're not really sure. So, get my shape booze. Pokey, pokey, poke. And connect. Defending, keeping things nice and separated. Getting some more shape. connect or disconnecting it completely <laughs> at the very least strong amateurs okay 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 why responds with the honey and black calmly pulls back, like so. And now we're reducing and getting a little bit more shape. And somehow my sleeve keeps flipping my chat on my phone. It's kind of weird. I didn't know it could do that, quite frankly. Getting them shapes, getting them shapes. Poking them shapes, poking them shapes. Looks like we're kind of alive now. So time to go back to end game. Because white's got this and this. Black's got some stuff over here, or white got some stuff over here, here, there, a little bit over there. I feel like nowadays Koreans and Chinese don't play like this. Okay. Well, no, nowadays everything is, you know, kill or be killed. Right? Even I have it on good authority that young Shibano Toramaru recently played a game against Hane Naoki in which they played a winner-take-all, kill-or-be-killed game. So a lot of people are playing like this nowadays. A lot of people. Poking, poking, poking. And clamp. White counter pokes. And black says, Aji. Aiming for the corner. No 3 3 invasion, must be old. I mean, that is the way of it nowadays, right? There's no 3 3 invasion, the game is ancient. Because everyone knows the only way to play Go nowadays is to invade a 3 3 point. It's true. All right, got this connected. Ask if he can kill. Says no.
repeats the question. In case, you know, might have stuttered the first time. Still no. Still no. Comes on out. Kills a stone. Clamp now works in the corner. Forces white to defend. And then takes a large point. Why did S11 not become some of the biggest endgame? What is S11? S11. Do, 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 do. Don't really know what territory is there, right? We could Hane, they'll probably connect. So we're looking at this, right? Here, connect. Here, into clamp. Into connect, into connect, into clamp gote. Doesn't really look very large, right? So yeah, we Hane. Okay, fine. You could just connect instead of Tiger Mouth. That's fine too. But yeah, Hane. Connect. Connect. Clamp. Connect. Connect. Clamp. All in Gote. So it doesn't seem like a very large move right now, right? I mean, protect instead of connect. Protect what? After the Hane. I'm so confused. I'm not sure where you mean. Because after here, yeah, white's going to connect. And then black's going to connect. So I'm not sure what you mean by protect. Protect over here. And then we're just going to go and get clamped. Because there's a connection there, right? So you drop down, and then white extends, and you connect, and then white extends again. And that whole thing's connected. Yeah. Good question, though. Good question, though. Looks like a lot of territory, but you start looking at endgame, then you realize, eh, kind of small. Right? Block. Connect. Clamp boo clamp boo, you're the one. You're making end game not very fun. Atari. Get me a point. Atari is or taking his goate, so screw that noise. Make sure that doesn't fall to our opponent. Won't just give up a stone lightly. So something like that. And then we take and get Atari. And take. Extending on down. Do, 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 do. I forgot how much endgame there was in this one. You would think I would normally choose a game with so much endgame. But apparently I did. Wide. Pokey, pokey, poke. It's going to block. Keeping our bottom territory all nice and bottom. 
Ishtar or Hane, extend back. Hello, Nutlers. How was your stream today? For those of you who are unaware, Nutlers has been streaming lately. If you are not following his channel on twitch.tv slash Nutlers, you might want to consider it. Honey, honey, honey. And connect. When did that happen? Oh, right. I had Black play twice. Sorry. After this, obviously Black didn't play there. White took first. There we go. Then black played over here. And now white, rather than connecting, is playing here first. There we go. Now we're back on track. And over there. Now this is actually interesting. The fact that white is not defending that yet and going for more moves means maybe Maybe white's not confident that uh, white's ahead. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Going after all them points first. <laughs> okay, now we can go back and defend. Now we can go back and do this stuff. Now get ready to have your little minds blown, people. Because we just talked about this. But Black came up with an idea. A defense against the clamp. But an, also a threat against the corner. Ooh. Ooh. Push. Block. Clamp. Getting scary. Connect. Connect. Threatened to kill off. Denied. Throws in. Denied. And now clamp. Ooh, that's a problem. That's getting to be a problem. That's getting to be a problem. If we just drop down, there's the throw in. So now there's this, right? There's this or this that are white stones. Does that live? It's looking, it's looking kind of scary. Looking kind of scary. So black has to Hane. Well, the Hane is interesting. There's now a Ko there. Oops. White drops down. Initiate Ko. White, of course, takes. Ooh, that one's actually really deeply striped. Black extends up. Co threat. Connect. Retake the co. Th 
Co for the corner. Need a local threat. Need a local threat. It's okay, local threat. Threaten to kill off the stones. That's a that's a threat. That's very threatening. I think we found the same race. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Why takes? Black extends. Because there's a so many co-thread in here. Because we're going to be able to keep threatening for ages. Connect. And retake the co. Threatening to kill the corner. Oh no. Where are the threats going to come from? Gotta be pretty local. Because this is a huge threat. Okay. okay. Or a huge uh, co. So there we go. Now they're off the board. Atari, obvious connection. Very much required. Into retaking. Um. Oh, right, over here. Ah. That's an Atari. Which we're going to take. Only one more threat there now. But where are Black's threats? Where are Black's threats? White retakes? I do that sometimes, actually. Forget to retake the co. When I'm going over a game like this. Threatens to kill off all the things. All the things refuse to be killed off. Retake the co. And as you know, got one more good threat here. I could move them down four inches. I could also move them up four inches and be a jerk. There you go. Um... Wait, I feel like I did something bad here. That's a white stone. I'm an idiot. Sorry, I don't know how that became. A, I don't know how that was a black stone. That's obviously an Atari. Into a connect. There we go. Into a retake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Meant to be black. Meant to be black. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I feel like I missed something. No, Black's turn. Okay. Do 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 do. Got more co threats than you do. La 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 la. And white is pretty, or black is pretty all in on this co too, because we gave white points here. We're giving white points over here because we are really, really confident that this thing, this thing is going to completely freaking die. It has to. We don't give all of these points away and then lose this and have to like connect or something. That would be so bad for endgame. So you only do this when you're absolutely certain this thing is gonna die. Atari. Nope. Don't care. Now what? And Atari. And cut. Forcing the capture of the stones. Now we have to play here. 
force capture those stones. Atari. White gets to take. Atari. Try to kill something, maybe. Maybe, uh, make, maybe do a little bit of magic. Poke all the things. But unfortunately, we have Mii connection here and here. So we really can't kill anything. So white is forced to resign. This is too big. This is too big. Not good. Not good. So, you might want to know who the players are. Especially since some people were guessing that maybe this was a strong amateur Don game. <laughs> well, Black is professional 9 Don by the name of Rina Wei. One of the strongest female professional nine dons in the history of ever. Right? And white is uh, a chump five uh, professional five don by the name of Lee Cheng Ho. Played in 1992, for those of you who are wondering. 1992 game during the second Ing Cup on July 15th, if you want to get like really, really technical really beautiful and older than you <laughs> this game is my age says mushroom hmm this is Li Cheng Ho good old stone Buddha before he became good old the stoner Buddha before he completely came into his own strength as it were and then dominated the ghost scene for the next decade See, the thing is, Dragon called it. But... I forget, was Dragon in uh, my study group earlier today? When I specifically mentioned who I was going over? I don't... I forgot. But that's why, that's why I was blissfully ignoring his suggestion. Ah, I did not remember. So I was like, doop, 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 doop. Just gonna ignore him, la, 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 la. Okay, 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 okay. Anyway, this is, uh, because Runeawe had a very fascinating middle game, right? And there were a lot of moves that just dumbfounded a lot of you. Like the jumping here, the fourth, the, the stone it was. Jumping out the fourth time when you wanted to, like, take this or lean over here or do whatever else. Just jumping to make sure we don't get uh, counterattacked by white leaning on us over here, right? Things like that the need to jump out, and how many times we jump out before we play away. Uh, not as, I'm just going to blame it on Lighthawk, I think it was that said it. Uh, the capping early on, which would push you into suicide. But the jumping out, how many times we jumped out, why we jumped out, before going back and playing uh, here to try to grow an area. White lived there. Quite easily, as expected, because third line's territory, fourth line's influence, fifth line's kind of wishful thinking. So when we played this move, we knew we had a pretty good uh, guess that our opponent was going to turn around and live here, and sure enough, uh, did. And then, of course, this move was adorable. As you can see here, we've got a 9-don versus a 1-don game. We've got a lot of really amazing games today. We've got, we had like Lee Cheng Ho when he was a bumbling little five Don that 
couldn't read out a corner code and got himself killed. Five Dons only, professional quality, mind you. Need apply to those kind of games. And now we have, um, many, many years later, we still have good old Renette Way, still a nine Don professional, because you obviously can't be demoted, and she wouldn't be anyway, playing a one Don pro. So that's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. White is not playing first, so what I said there does was going to be really strange, and I have no way to fix that sentence anyway. I, I kept kind of stringing it along, thinking I would think of something uh, to justify calling that a white stone a minute ago, but I had nothing. We just kind of went roaming around for a while and then crashed into a wall and caught on fire. Anyway, black opens up, upper right-hand corner. And white has the audacity to play in this corner, not inviting the diagonals. What a wimp. Interesting. We've got Chinese possibilities. Chinese possibilities or Kobayashi possibilities. Ha 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 ha. Could be anything. <gasps> Mirrored opening so far. Interesting. Now we've got a 4 4 and a 3 4 stone. Now, this says we can go influencer territory. This says maybe a little more territorial, but you could go for influence because you could easily like do things like this that we don't see nowadays, or here, or here, whatever. So they're both kind of flexible, both kind of flexible. Instead, black approach is low and white White kicks. That right there reveals the age of this game, doesn't it? Everyone knows the age of this game now, right? No one can guess it wrong. What do you think? How old is this game? How old do you think this game is? If you said it's brand spanking new, you're right. It was played, like, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago? Something like that? But rather than just get a base, because, ew, we're going to take it all the way to white and try to grow a huge framework. And white backs off. Black immediately plays to settle. Because that's all the rage nowadays. And we play Jaseki. Just playing Jaseki. Good old Jishki. And everyone should know, regardless of rank, because everybody plays this. Everybody plays this way nowadays. It's just all there is to it. Everyone, everyone's everyone's going to play this way. Everyone. You introduce your mother to go, she's going to play this way. Everyone. That neighbor next door to you, they play this way. That creepy guy in the bus, looking at you funny, he plays this way too. It's everywhere, man, it's everywhere. So we're kind of getting shape and settling. And I admit part of the reason why I picked this game is because of this. Part of the reason why I played this way is because of this. This looks so weird. Like, I did. I, I, what do we do with this? What, what, what do we do with this? What? 
do we do do this do 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 Is it suboptimal to not play this way? Well, the question is, if you don't play this way, how are you going to make your approaching stone work with this because we don't have a base? Anything that we play here is going to be too far, and there's going to be odd G on both sides. If we don't go far enough, we're going to get pincered. So we just have like a little bit of a base here. So screw the base in com like just completely. Rather than that, let's just go for all the things and then see what happens. Is Basco seek No! I am not the creator of Hamilton. What the ever-loving hell. My board would look a lot better if I was, that's for sure. Oh, fuck. I have to go bleep that now. Damn it, that too. Gotta remember that in my, in my uh, video edits. Gotta, gotta bleep that. Hmm. Bleep game two. Bleep game two. Got it. Okay, so here's the thing. This is weird. Have you guys all seen this move before? I don't know why we still play it. Why? 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 Why do? Why? What is the? What the? F f uh, mm, what is the purpose of this move? Anybody tell me? Because every time I see it, I, I don't know. Why this? What is it doing? Can anybody tell me what this is doing? It's poking the shape of black. No, it's dying. It's it's dying. That that's what that is. It's dying. It's like no, it's fine. It can run away and live. No, it can't. We know it can't. We know the minute we freaking played it, it can't. But why do people keep playing it? I don't understand. I don't understand why we're doing this. I'm so confused. I see it in so many freaking games though, but I don't understand why we're doing this. I mean, that's it, your stones are dead. And, unless I completely miss my guess, it just got a freaking extension from the two stones. And yet you see this in so many games. Amateur games, you see it in pro games still. I, but we know what we're giving up. Like, I mean, uh, we're playing this so we can get this. Is that it? So we can get two extra stones here? And we can get the turn here in Sente, I guess. But uh, who cares? Hmm. Anyway, time to play away. <laughs> it's a thing, right? At least it's the one P doing that, and not the not the nine down. I guess, I guess, I guess. Now I like the nine the nine downs answer here. This is my favorite pincer against the low approach. I think I think it's cute. It's cute. It's got like a little. It's got like a little uh, worky worky with like the four four point, which is adorbs, and then like it can't really like jump out and counter attack it easy because it's too far away. So that's kind of cool too. And there's some like nifty little, small little Jiseki that do like settled. They have like Aji still. So I like I like that pincer. All around I like the pincer. 
Now, occasionally, you've got complete jackasses who don't understand that Go is meant to be beautiful. And they play this trying to play, like, Taisha because they just got off, like, some caffeine field binge where they studied, like, every Taisha variation in the game. So they're, like, trying to trick you up. But you could just play here and be like, uh, no. And then just, like, and get territory. And that's fine. So, okay. Got this one. Easy peasy. No problems. Gonna extend. Gonna do the one point jump. We don't do uh, this usually, because this gives a larger wall to about here or here, and then this stone's too close to thickness. But if we play here, we're good, because they can push once more and that's it. And then you've got like one, two, three, four, five away from like a four or five stone wall. So that's that's in pretty good position. When you play here though, you kind of go to here and then this is like a little bit too close. We don't like it too much. <coughs> um, yeah. Black attacks or white attacks, one of the two, whatever color that is. And we're of course gonna pincer because this little guy wants some help. So bam, got him some help. Just called 911. No problem. Doesn't do 3-3. Three, three, does counter approach. So we tap that instead. We don't do this one very much anymore. Just so you know. Because some of y'all might have grown up on this one too. I know I did. Um, but we don't really like going into here, into here anymore. Because then we have to block, connect. Uh, and in go take killing one stone and then they can just keep playing away and doing whatever. It's kind of weird. This one seems to have been like universally approved nowadays. We block on this side rather than this side. This one tends to give a feeling of over concentration. So we play here into that one into the three three. Because that one's now, again, threatening to, you know, get uh, too much, right? Opponent wants you to play here, and then connecting, and then playing here, and then having to, like, kill that off. And that's over-concentrated again. Meanwhile, white getting zoom. A lot of stuff, right? But we are not going to play that. No, 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 no. We very rarely play that. Instead, we do this one because there's a throw-in now. White connects this way, and then there's Aji. Usually, positions that become mainstream are usually about what Aji remaining. It's like a, it's like a simple variation, not too many moves, kind of like this one, right? Because we've got like one more move that we need to play. Particularly, sometimes we play like, you know, the Atari on one side or the other. But it's nice and you know, uh, isolated to the corner for the most part. And it's got some Aji. Like these stones aren't quite dead yet. There's some, like, throwing Aji over here, so it's a nice small variation that leaves a nice flavor for later. Right? Instead, black goes after that immediately. Not later, as previously suggested. But we are, because we are in mid-game, right? We go corner, side, center, right? Corner, 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 corner. Corners are done. So we don't have any like really, really big things to do. We do have Aji harassment for mid game. So it makes sense to do this now. If like this was still open, maybe we wouldn't play here immediately. We'd play over here and see what's up in this corner or that corner or that corner or wherever. But here we're kind of firmly in the mid game, right? So it makes sense to go and do such things. But what use is, is the Aji? We're seeing it right now live on the board, on your screen. What use is it? If we play here, right? And then black connects back. That is threatening to surround the corner. And this corner is not alive locally yet, right? So there you see its use. So we're getting some extra points here. We're robbing white of his base. And that's pretty cool. I 
I'll be honest, I don't know how to play Go. I'm just a friend of Bat. So says Mr. XJC Games. XJC Games, for those of y'all don't know, used to be a done uh, cotton picking subscriber for my 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 video game days when I did them uh, damn damn Sim Cities. Yep 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 yep. He's a good old Southern boy down there liking them Sim City type games. Hasn't really gotten into Go very much. But that's okay. I think he just needs to find the right, uh, the right person. Maybe he'll wind up one day or another finding a girl that plays Go, and then suddenly he'll be into Go too. You never know, right? Or sorry, or or a guy, you know, whatever your preference is there. XJC Games. Whatever, whatever you you know, whatever. Whichever. Alright, so, honey. And we're gonna back off. This group of blacks now is completely fine. Absolutely adorbs. And now here's the thing. Black wants white to play a move over here so we can go back and finish this. So white says no. You tried to kill me and my family. Now you're gonna die. So it connects. Robbing the base. Hikaru no go taught me anime. I mean taught me go, so I'd start there. That's a good he doesn't he doesn't he doesn't want he doesn't he's not he's not an anime guy. He doesn't like he doesn't like anime. Or television shows or movies for that matter. So, barking up the wrong tree on that one. Drops down. Because even though White is being dastardly and trying to attack Black, Black's just going, bring it! I'm a nine, Don! Threaten cap, 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 cap. But the cap's not scary, is it? Cap ain't scary. We can just turn. If Hane, we can Hane back. Because we can't get cut. Because Atari dropped down three stones are dead. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Gonna fall back. Okay, okay, okay. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Threaten to poke through. Sente, making yourself stronger. Cool, 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 cool. Strengthen. Now the push and the cut means ladder to nowhere. So we're fine. And now we come out. Nice and shapely, I must say. Hmm. All right, so now we have this area here. Seems to be doing pretty well for black. This area is, uh, I don't know, like glorified Comey, I guess you'd say. And then we've got left development but 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 we still have this lovely group that's not alive locally so we've got things that we can do white has got to be on the lookout because someone's trying to murder him and as a white runs away he must always be aware of the shape that he has made. Am I calling him a he? Crap. I meant she. They're both she. I'm sorry. I've been calling white a he the entire time. They are both female professionals. My bad. I thought I, thought I was wrong about that. It, it felt like something was wrong there. So, okay. So, all right, all right, all right. Professional one don. Female professional one don. Got it. So, we made shape. She did. Oh, this move is so cute. This move is so cute. We're making this area nice and large. We're threatening to come in. 
Oh, that is so good. It's doing like two things at once. It's threatening a connection here. It's threatening to do three things at once. Ah, oh, so good. So good. That that move is sexy. Can't let it connect. If we play here, oh my dear sweet raptor baby Jeebus. Do we do that? Do we do like this? Into something like this? If you do, just leave the game. Because you gotta reduce this. Areas of the board where you can actually fit your hand in is usually too many points. I don't count, but I know that one. I know that one. So we can't do that. Gotta come out. Gotta be a fighter. Threatening it again because we could always play here and regrow, right? And White's like, no, you will not. Your growing is at an end. So White plays on it. Ba -da 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 -da. And we extend like so. Now, who can tell me where this move is supposed to go? Who can tell me where this move is supposed to go? There's an inch, there are a couple of interesting moves on the board. Let's see if you can get it right. Let's see who can get it right. What do you think? Black's move. Black's move. I think my hands are drying out in this cold weather, actually. Yeah, a little bit. To stay consistent, I will say cap. Well, here's the thing. Ooh, G8. What's a G8? Uh, way too far away on the left-hand side. Nope. O8. O8 is... Ooh, you're getting closer. So the idea here, we want to kind of like reinforce that cutting point, and we do want to attack that. And wouldn't you know it, there's a move that does both. Boom. Did your minds just get blown? Pokey, pokey, poke. Connect. White says, I cut through you now. Your moves don't work. But Black says, no, I cut through you. Your moves don't work. White says, my moves do work. You cannot cut me, for I can do terrible things to you. So we connect. And white says, very well, and I will connect as well. And black says, then I will connect too. And wouldn't you know it, I am now poking at your cutting point. That's a problem. Sente, sente, sente. Sente, sente, sente. And with one move, the penny drops. Because suddenly, what we thought was under attack has grown. White, or er, black, sorry, has been the queen of doing multiple things at once. From here, no, actually from here we destabilize white, which gave us a chance to play a move that threatens to grow and invade, which forced white to struggle, which is now implementing a two, uh, a splitting attack. We can surround, or we can surround. So, Black's moves, very simple, but ooh, they're so busy. They're doing all the things simultaneously. Don't get surrounded. White responds.
So now what? Now we gotta get out of this situation, so time to retreat. Time to retreat. Time to run away. Flee, everybody. <laughs> Thank you for the one bit. I appreciate it. Cut. Atari. Just settling. Like so. No pushy pushy cutty cutty. But that's very much go to go to go to go to. So we can all guess the next move, right? Go. Not hard to find a move in go sometimes. Sometimes all you have to do is ask yourself. What is the last move my opponent ignored? Then we take aim at that one right up there. Because it was threatening to invade and it didn't get an answer, did it? So, in comes black. And now we have to be careful all over again. Because if black gets a move like over in here... I don't know, are you alive locally? I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Comes out. Threatens to cut off. White says no cut off. Black says no live locally. No live locally. White, however, is not going to take it laying down. White's a pro. She's got, she's got claws, okay? She's like, you attack me? I counterattack you. So the fight's escalating. So, okay, which is more important? This or this? Obviously this. So out we come. Pokey, pokey, poke. Perky, 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 oh, it's stony, 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 stony. Perky, perky, the stony, stony. Oop. And connecty, connecty. Like so. White takes. White takes. Fine here. Black Atari. Huge Co. Huge Co. Huge Co. Huge Co. Huge Co. There we go. Huge Co. Co for all the things. So White says, I've got threats. I've got threats you ain't even conceived of. Cares not at all. It's like, I'm threatening to kill your whole top, so you go for it. You take whatever y'all want over there. White says, well then don't mind if I do there, partner. Connect, because it's going to be Sente for black. And now the burden of proof is on black. Black must show that this was worth that loss. So we need to find the right move. Where's the right move? Where's the right move? Okay. Um... Oh, the right move is surrounding. Keep it simple. Nice and simple. Just go surround stone. 
because uh, really hard to live when you only got one eye. It's true. That's uh, true. Because before this was kind of like a dragon, right? But now, not now. It's just dead. It's just not 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 a very good dragon. But the outside is surrounding these, so okay, we're getting somewhere. And we're not going to extend like a crazy person because we know this Atari is here. So that extension is going to be bad and gote and shapeless. So black makes shape. Since our we're going to be uh, gote with our next uh, stone, make sure we get shape first. Uh, next. And on it, like so, Atari connects and extend, maximizing base, trying to kill, trying to kill, just me trying to kill. Threaten to cut it off. What says no cut it off? Threatening to Atari, which would give shape. But then again, so does this, so it looks like maybe we're alive now. Nice. Light extends. Threatens to cut through. But that little jerk is still trying to kill us. How rude is White? She is so rude. So we Atari. And take. And Atari get a game. And Atari get a game. Because we are going to murder someone. That's all there is to it. Trying to kill. White. She is not a very meek player. She keeps trying to kill everything. You have to love that. You really do. Isn't that cool? She's a murderer. She's a murderer. That's amazing. I like that a lot. Drop down. And retakes. Uh, black's move. And uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. threaten to capture. And white takes that as well. And we retake. Who were the players last game? Yeah, last game it was Nai Wei and Cheng Ho, 1992, July 12th. A game older than many of you have been alive. But it was very, very cool. That just goes to show just because it's old does not mean it's not awesome. Keeping all the things dead. Just killing all things here, boss. Killing all things here, boss. Here's an interesting one. Threatening to kill the corner in exchange. I have to say, I don't know what I would what I would do with that one. I'd be tempted to to take. I forgot to retake, didn't I? Sorry, forgot to retake. Like I said, I don't know what I would do there. I'd be tempted. That's like, uh, I mean, it looks big. But all right. Making sure we're alive. 
And then retake. And then we're still milking this from all the threats. That is not a white stone. There we go. Keeping all the things dead up there. Now we're going to remember to retake. See, I know how to play this game. I know how to play this game. Start and kill corner again. Laksu. And retake. Laksu. Um, white takes. Black blocks. And retake. Boop. And defend, because this is gonna gonna do again another kill. So we do this one. That one feels a little awkward, don't it? Because we can't let him connect under. We drop down again. Connects on out. Has to go back to co. I'd like to pushy pushy push because those are threats as well. Those are co threats. And white has to extend. And then that gets capped. And we retake. It didn't occur to me this co was actually this long when I picked this game for the day. Just I'd throw that out there. Threaten to kill. Three take. It's a co that never ends. Cut. Kill. And retake. Wait, did I do something bad? No, I didn't. There we go. Retake. Just keeps going and going and going. We Hane because we can save the stone, get blocked, and Atari, so all that would die. Therefore, that was a threat. And we retake. Wait, what? Four move exchanges for co threat instead of two? Huh? Oh, you mean these? Nah. It's a very lengthy one. Um, it's. Yeah, there. Okay, so now this one. I have to be careful here. We have to leave on that one. Oh, the cow never going to end ever. It doesn't end. But Black has finally had it. Black says, frack this. I'm out of here. I'm using up these local threats now. And then white says probably the clamp was it? No, the Atari. Okay. Yep, Atari into a connection. Into a retake. But now we've got lots of local stuff. We could do things like bunk. And retake. 
The cow just never ends. Now we do the bonk. There we go. And now I thought this was going to be played for this, but instead this one's played. The Atari on all the things. That one's interesting. Because after we play here, how much would white need from the co? Um, well, considering white's only territory consists of this and that, uh, lots, lots and lots and lots, right? Because remember, this is dead. This seems like territory, this is blacks, and this seems okay too. So the only territory is here, here, and there. So we would need a ton from the cow. Now that I thought was going to be ignored. A hundred percent ignored. But apparently no. We're good. No reason to uh, give up the code just yet when it seems our opponent is running out of threats, right? What do you take or Atari? Or can I use something? Yeah, okay. Okay. Mm Bottom would be huge. Bottom would be huge. That's right. You're, yeah. Yeah, you're right. It's just that, like, answering here, though, gives, like, more co threats. You know? So, all right. Got that one. Then played here. Got another local. Like so. And then retake. And Black says interesting threat you have there. But I'm going to ignore it. Co finally over. Finally, it is about time it ended. But it is finally ended. So now white has to prove that's actually threatening. So white descends. Simple move, extend. Just gotta threaten the eyes. Threatens to surround. That's one eye. White plays the Atari. Extends again. How are you possibly going to kill this group? Gets rid of the eye, but there's a ton of RG. Play the Hane. Okay, okay, okay. Gets clamping, threatening to kill the, th the three stones. Okay, okay, okay. Forces white to extend using oh so much amazing Aji, but that re uh, 
activates these two stones. White's got to connect, allowing an Atari splits this off. White connects. Now we have a huge problem. We've got to cut here and here. Those are now dead. These are dead, but I mean, this is this is nice. One, two, three, four, five, six stone compensation. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six stones. So profit of one, two, three, four, five, six of itself. But this is worth more. The left is worth more. Those three, the four, five stones are still uh, happily dead over there. We need more moves here to seal this off. We still have pushy, pushy, pushies over here. So, white resigns. Resign, 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 resign. It's too much. It's too much. Because white has to like play here now, right? And then black gets to play here. And then all that's all that's his. Best endgame we can expect right now from white is this and Sente. Um, maybe here, just assuming we get that one in. And then giving away Sente again. The rest of this is going to go to black. Right? Ah, ah, hers. Hers, hers, forgot. Both female female pros, female pros. Yes, it's hers. So yeah, White resigns. Good on her. Cool game. She is trying to be a murderer, and she tried to uh, set her sights on someone incredibly strong. Very respectable. Very respectable. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That is true, Pace and Fox. That is true. So yeah, I like... I've been saying this repeatedly. I'm I'm liking some of the female games a lot more than some of the uh, male games lately. Because, I mean, that's just like 3-3-3-3-3-3 invasion. <sighs> but there's like still fighting spirit in these other games that, that I, I like. So, yeah. If you're tired of like all the bleep bloop stuff, sometime just check out, uh, see what the female links are up to. My opinion. My opinion. <laughs>